There they go. They are off. And David Myers sends a medical review out to take the early lead. Hannah's boy is prominent as well from the outside. A gap of two and a half lengths. Charlie's leader comes away in third. Parked out in fourth is Sharp Sun. Gap of two and a half to first time Adam. And then we get pick and pluck. Two more to Irish Hire. Lusty Man takes a seat inside of that one. And then it's a lot of Marauder. And uh, you look better gone is trailing the field as they move past the opening quarter it's Hannah's boy leading the way 27 and 2 fast first quarter put up by Hannah's boy and Randy Tharps uh, they are calling the shots here leading the way by two for medical review in second it's two back Charlie's leader is third gap out two and a half sharp son is fourth by three first time Adam is next he's better than 12 lengths off the early pace though pick and pluck is two behind that one then three more to Irish Iyer followed by lusty man inside of you look better gone and the trailer is a lot of marauder as they round the clubhouse turn they're being led by Hannah's boy Hannah's boy takes him past the half and a solid 56 and 3 it's Hannah's boy setting a rapid pace in here showing the way by a length and a half medical review drafts in from second Charlie's leader draws a closer third first time Adam is ranging up first over on the rim from fourth sharp sun back to fifth pick and pluck comes into contention following live cover from sixth then five further back to Irish Iyer lusty man a struggling you look better gone trailer is a lot of marauder as they head to three quarters Hannah's boy continues to lead the way first time Adam outside of medical review second and third 126 and one Racing three wide and fourth is pick and pluck, followed by Charlie's leader in fifth. That's the top grouping as they make the bend into the stretch. And Randy Tharps goes to work on Hannah's boy, leading the way by one. First time Adam from in between horses. Pick and pluck tries to rally on the far outside. Looking for racing room down the inside. Medical review. Charlie's leader tries to split horses. Hannah's boy full out to hold the lead. Here comes medical review. Pick and pluck on the outside. Medical review from the inside wins it. Tight photo for second. Hannah's Boyer, pick and pluck, 157 and 2. For the three year old brown gelded son of Doctor of Style. From Larsonist Lady by In the Pocket, owned by Ellicott Shaker Motors, Incorporated of Beachwood, Ohio. The winning trainer is Randy Ward. The winning driver, David Myers, 157 and 2. The second race, exact in trifecta wagering. Number one is Mia Rebo. She's owned by Mel B. Ober and driven by Kyle Ader. Two Spitfire Saab, owned by Robert Radabaugh with Dean Glispie. Three Obi Banker, owned by Hushang Momenpoir, Randy Tharps. Grand Sidekick is the four, owned by Jerry Grant, and driven by Brett Miller. Five Tommy's Trombone is owned by Schoonover and Ledford, Rick Heitman. Six Recommended, owned by Heron Price, Mike Price. Seven is over Charming Lady under lease to Linda Ebersole with David Myers. AJL Invader, owned by Newhart and Hensler, Dan Noble. Nine is CC Gone Fishing, owned by Sterling Brook Farms, Jeff Oud, and the ten is Kohler Prakis, owned by Thomas Stubbs with Ty Van Roden. Post time, six minutes. They're in the backstretch. Austria goes the AJL Invader. They're off. And OB Banker is quick to begin. Heads out to grab the early lead from three wide. Tommy's trombone is trotting up on the outside to challenge second. Mia Rebo comes away in third. Gap of two. Spitfire Saab is fourth. Kohler Prakis off the second tier is fifth. Seven lengths off the leader. And then we get Grand Sidekick followed by Over Charming Lady. Followed by Recommended. Two and a half back to CC Gone Fishing who went a bit rough there. And about five lengths farther back to JL Invader who trails the field. Tommy's trombone has been parked through the opening quarter and looks to take a seat in behind OB Banker. 
Banker now, 28 seconds flat, passing the stands for the first time. OB Banker comes away with the lead. Tommy's trombone relents for a two-hole trip. And Mia Rebo, she's underway early. She's hoping to clear before they enter the turn. Gapped four lengths, Spitfire Saab is fourth. Kohler Prakis is guided to the outside in fifth position. Grand sidekick comes to the outside as well. Then three lengths further back to CC Gonfishin, who starts to get involved with better than seven lengths to come. And then we get over Charming Lady, recommended and five back to JL Invader, 58 and one, for a solid tempo as they race down the back stretch. On top of the field, it's Mia Rebo. Mia Rebo leads the way by just over a length. Tommy's trombone is back underway from the outside. Second, OB Banker racing in third. Spitfire Saab is fourth. Grand sidekick overland from fifth position. Off stride went Kohler Prakis. And then we get CC Gone Fishing, followed by Over Charming Lady, recommended in JL Invader. They head for three quarters, and Mia Rebo and Tommy's trombone are dueling it out. 128 and three. Midway around the far turn, Mia Rebo draws back out to lead by three quarters of a length. Tommy's trombone trying to hang tough in second. Obi Banker swings out wide in third. Spitfire Saab remains in fourth. And Grand Sidekick is fifth as they come down the stretch, being led by Mia Rebo. Mia Rebo by one length. Tommy's trombone trying to take one more crack at her. Here comes Obi Banker on the outside. Spitfire Saab at the rail. It's Mia Rebo home on top. Photo for second. Maybe Obi Banker over Spitfire Saab, 159 and four. Mia Rebo is back to the winner's circle for the third time this season. 159 and 4 is a career best mile. She's a four year old Baymere by Merkel Hanover from Impish CTM by Carry the Message. Owned by Melby Ober, trained by Ann Hildebrand, driven to victory by Kyle Ader. with six, Kohler practice tenth. One, three, two, five, four, eight, seven, nine, six, ten. Upcoming third. Race. Sponsored by Midland Acres, two-year-old pacing Phillies, number one, Ebers Connection, owned by Ballinger, Klotz, and Dar, Dave Klotz. Two Nels Bells, owned by Joanna Beaver with Kyle Ader. Number three is Sand Sugar. She's owned by Bill Sanders and driven by David Myers. For Belly Button is owned by Kathleen Borchers, Jeff Out Drives. Five, Lorianne Highlight is owned by Henkel Brown and the Highlight Stable, Brett Miller. Number six is Exciting Life. Owned by Book Staver, Burkhold, Hager, and Campbell, Del S. Miller, seven minutes. Third race field, lined up and set to go. They're off. Sand Sugar in a year's connection. Come away one, two, and the big favorite Nels Bells is going to settle away just off the early pace and tuck away in third. Two lengths further back to Belly Button, followed by Lori Ann Highlight, and the trailer to the stage is Exciting Life as Sand Sugar works her way past the Veers connection. Gap down in third is Nels Bells, followed next by Belly Button, Lori Ann Highlight, and Exciting Life as they move to head stretch. And Nels Bells is making her move early. She's ranging up on the outside to take over the lead from Sand Sugar, opening quarter, 29 and 2. Passing the stands for the first time, Kyle Leder puts Nels Bells on the lead. She shows it by a length and a quarter now as Sand Sugar yields for a pocket trip. Bevere's connections in the three hole. Belly Button is next, then it's Lori Ann Highlight and Exciting Life. The field is covered by nine lengths as they make their way through the clubhouse turn half mile pole bound. It's Nels Bells. She's in control now. Nels Bells by just over one. Sand Sugar tracks in from second. Ebers Connection is third. Belly Button is fourth. And then we get Lorianne Highlight and Exciting 
life the half goes in a modest one minute and three fifths as they journey down the back stretch with Nels Bells carving out the fractions in here. It's Nels Bells by just over one length with less than three eighths to come. Sand Sugar pocketed second. Evier's connection is third. Lorianne Highlight is trying to work her way up from the back of the pack first over. She's three and a half lengths off pace on the rim trying to gain ground. Belly Button is next and gap four lengths from the field is exciting life. Three quarters, 130 flat. Moving around to head stretch, it's Nails Bells trying to open up on the field now. Leads the way by two. San Sugar is second. Evier's connection looks to edge to the outside. Four lengths back to Belly Button and Lorianne Highlight fades out of contention as they come down the stretch and Nails Bells puts it in another gear and opens up by three. San Sugar is second. Evier's connection is third, but it's Nails Bells. She's going to win two straight in this series. Much the best of these. Evier's connection up for second, followed by San Sugar, third, 158 and 1. Nels Bells is a good wheel bet, 2 1 exact. It comes back $50 to try 2 1 3, $100.60. Back to the winner's circle, it's Nels Bells, second victory in three career attempts. She's a two-year-old daughter of Dragon's Lair from Sporting Nell by Jade Lobel and by Joanna Beaver of Delaware, Ohio, trained by Charlie Beaver, driven a victory by Kyle Lader. Nell's Bells, 158-1 in this division of the Midland Acres Pacing Series. Rundown of Ears Connection second, Nels Bells the winner, Sand Sugar was third, Belly Button was fourth, Lorian Highlight was sixth. This exact is tries and pick threes. Number one is Albie's Eagle, owned by Charlie Little with uh, Brett Miller. Two is Cam Saylor, owned by Kenneth Thompson with David Myers. Three Good Time Johnny is owned by Everman and Trout, Jeff Fout. Four is Sky High Rebo, owned by Melby Ober with Dan Noble. Five, BT Arturo is owned and driven by Roger Hammer. Six, Neutron Jack is owned by Gilmore Rogers and Batchy Rick Eipen. Seven is Kiss and Sam, owned by James Grandstaff. Kyle later drives, and the eight horse is Flying Spirit. Jerry Alderman owns. Randy Tharps is up. Seven minutes. For the race field, lined up and set to go. They're off. Pacing out for the lead, it's LB's Eagle. Good time, Johnny is an up close second, and there goes Flying Spirit, who crosses over from the outside third. Sky High Rebo comes away in fourth. BT Arturo is on a break. And then we get Cam Sailor, followed by Neutron Jack, and Kiss and Sam is seventh as they move to the top of the stretch for the first time. And the field is being led by Brett Miller and Albie Eagle. It's Albie Eagle by just over one from Good Time Johnny, who tracks in from the pocket second. Sky High Rebo is third, and Flying Spirit uh, takes back a bit, settles away in fourth, seven off the lead. 27 Seven and two, a brisk opening quarter put up by Albie Eagle, looking for two straight wins. He's in command by a length and a half. Good time, Johnny. Uh, riding the pocket second. Sky High Rebo at the pylons in third. Flying Spirit is fourth. First to pull is Neutron Jack. He's moving up uncovered on the rim. And then we get Sky High Rebo. Kissin' Sam moves up to pick up cover from sixth position. Uh, seventh position, rather, and the distant trailer is BT Arturo, 57 and 4. Out of the turn and down the back stretch, it's Albie's Eagle in full control here. Albie's Eagle by just over one. Good time, Johnny's in the garden spot second, followed by Sky High Rebo in third. Then we get Flying Spirit in fourth by a length and a quarter. Then it's the pair of Cam Sailor instead of Neutron Jack, and Kiss and Sam looks to rally up three wide. Distant trailer remains BT Arturo as they head for the far turn. Albie's Eagle lengthens the advantage to two and a half lengths. Good time, Johnny. Johnny being called on for his best and second. Sky High Rebo is third. Flying Spirit is fourth. 126 and one. Midway around the far turn. It's all Albie's Eagle. He's trying to leave the field behind now. He leads the way by three. Good time, Johnny is second. Sky High Rebo is under whip urging as he comes out for the drive third. Flying Spirit is fourth, but Albie's Eagle is all alone on the front end. He's getting a bit rough, but he's still showing the way by four, and it's Albie's Eagle. He's relaxed on the lead now, and he's going to win it easily. Flying Spirit slips up the inside to grab second over Good Time Johnny, 155 and 1.
One eight exact to thirty six even. Try one eight three ninety seven sixty. Back in the winner's circle, Al Bezegel. Two straight wins, four in the season. One fifty five and one. It's a career best mile. It's a four year old big elded son of Glen Eagle from Albus's Dream by Albus, owned by Charlie Little, trained by Jerry Kutchback, and driven a victory by Brett Miller. Second division of the second leg of the Midland Acres Pacing Series for two-year-old Philly Pacers. One is up front and busting loose. Owned by Ed Mullen Axe with Brett Miller. Two more jewelry, please. Is owned by Josephine and Michael Campbell, Randy Tharps. Three, Reba M. Is owned by James Glass with Kyle Ader. Four, Anita Crombie. Is under lease to Tom Blankenship, Del S. Miller Drives. Five, She's Elegant. Owned by Ann Klotz and Janet Dar, Mark Klotz. Six, Joy's Centerfold is owned by George Smith with Dan Noble, and the seven is more than most. Done by the Brittany Farms with Jeff Fout. Post time, six year old Philly Pacers lined up for their second division of tonight's Midland Acres Pacing Series. They're off. She's elegant, springs to the lead. More jewelry, please, will follow in early on second. Two back up front, bust and loose comes away in the third spot. Four lengths off the pace. And then we get Rebam, followed by Anita Crombie. And then it's Joy Centerfold, and more than most trails the field. She's elegant, is calling the shots early on, but more jewelry, please, wants the top spot. She and Randy Tharps come out of the pocket and move up to challenge for command. Gap of four lengths back. Up front, bust and loose, watches it from a distant third spot. Reba M is fourth. The opening quarter goes in 29 seconds flat as more jewelry please loops around the pace setter she's elegant and takes charge as they approach the wire for the first time up front and bust and loose remains gapped in third two back Reba M is fourth four length separation to Anita Crombie more than most is starting to gain ground she's moving up on the rim from second last and Joy Centerfold is now left as the trailer as they move around the clubhouse turn it's more jewelry please more jewelry please is setting the pace she reaches the half in 59 and 3 fifth seconds from She's Elegant in second, followed by up front Bustin' Loose, who tips to the outside to move up first over on the rim from third. Now getting cover, that's more than most. She has gained ground into fourth position. She's two and a half off the lead. Reba M is being called on for her best. She's in fifth position, and five in front of Joyce Centerfold, who passes Anita Crombie, the trailer, as they head for the far turn. More jewelry, please. And up front Bustin' Loose are disputing the pace. 128 and four. Midway around the far turn, more jewelry, please, with a narrow lead from up front and busting loose, who's trying to hang tough, but she's starting to lose ground. That forces more than most up three wide, followed by She's Elegant, who's been getting the perfect trip. They have more jewelry, please, to catch in the final eighth mile. She's on top by two. She's Elegant down the inside, more than most from the center, followed by a fading up front and busting loose, but it's more jewelry, please. She's going to break Maiden in here by two lengths. More than most up second. She's elegant third, 158 and three. Back to the winner's circle. More jewelry, please. A two year old Jade Lobel filly from HH Sapphire by Cam Fellow and by Josephine and Michael Campbell. Mike Campbell, the trainer. Randy Tharps, the winning driver, 158 and three. Her first career victory in this division of the Midland Acres Pacing Series. 2 7 exact to 20 20. Try 2 7 5 88 even.
Paces are on the track for race six. Exact is in tries. Dean Collins on four. Evan Cello Hanover. One is dressed to kill by Alan Keith and Patty Roth. Randy Tharps. Two waiting for Sam. Owned by Hull Investment Company. David Myers. Three Attaboy Storm. Owned by Alvin Long and Neil Long. Jeff Fout. Vincello Hanover from post four for Carl Maybury Jr. The driver, Dean Collins. Number five, Awesome Nuke. He's owned by Powder Keg Stables Limited. Dell S. Miller drives. Six, GP's El Cid is owned by Gail Potter and Claudia Peters, Dan Noble. Seven is OK Terrific, owned by Gene Humphrey and Jerry Webb. Jim Shelton drives. And the eight is Hoyt Highlight, owned by Brown, Ridenauer, Henkel, and the Highlight Stable. Brett Miller drives. Post time for the sixth race in six minutes. There they go. They're off. Trio of levers, Vincello Hanover. There goes OK Terrific from furthest down. And Attaboy Storm is in the top grouping as well. White highlight the late lever from fourth. He'll tuck away in fourth position now. Two and a half flanks back, and we come to Dress to Kill, followed by waiting for Sam inside of Awesome Nuke. And the gap down trailer is GP's El Cid. And going off stride while bidding for the lead was the seven, OK Terrific. And that leaves it up to Dean Collins and Vincello Hanover. They are in charge, 28 seconds for the opening quarter. Moving past the stands, Vincello Hanover has the racetrack by a length and a half, but Hoyt Highlights are rolling up on the outside, second Attaboy Storm watches it from third, it's a gap of three, Dressed to Kill racing five lengths off the pace in fourth position, two and a half back to waiting for Sam, followed next by Awesome Nuke then we get GP El Cid, and two and a half back to OK Terrific, who is well in touch with the field, and a dozen lengths off the pace setter, and the pace setter remains Vincello Hanover, Vincello Hanover hits the half in 57 seconds flat, Hoyt Highlight was unable to clear, but forces Vincello Hanover uh, to up the pace. Attaboy Storm is a ground-saving third, and Dress to Kill begins to advance on the outside. He's fourth and gaining ground. Racing in fifth is waiting for Sam. Third over in sixth is Awesome Nuke. Then we get GP's El Cid, who tightens down from seventh, and then it's five lengths farther back to OK. Terrific as they head for the far turn, and Hoyt Highlight Park for the past half mile, trying desperately to clear Vincello Hanover, fifth Three quarters, 126 and two. Midway around the far turn. Vincello Hanover and Hoyt Highlight are on even terms. Dressed to kill just in behind. Looks to perhaps tip out three wide. Then we get Attaboy Storm and three wide on the far outside is Awesome Nuke as they come down the stretch. Vincello Hanover is full out to hold the lead, but Hoyt Highlight looks to have the better of him though. Late kick way down the inside waiting for Sam. GP's El Cid, no racing room. Dressed to kill on the outside. Hoyt Highlight dressed to kill getting up. Then it was a photo for second. GP's El Cid or Hoyt Highlight, 157. Jack just tries and pick threes. One is Runaway Lawyer, owned by the Newcastle Stable with Rick Heitman. Two Kissy Face, owned by Robinson, Brooks, Mandillo, and Let Key, Kyle Ader. Sybil is the three. She's owned by Hushang Moment, poor Randy Tharps. Poor Kimbo Crombie is owned by Kathy Hawk and Sean Barker. Sean Barker is up. Five, Sharp Bennett is owned by Betty Jean Jordan with Del S. Miller. Six, Eternal Freedom, Kelly Cook owns, Kane Kaufman drives. Seven, Sambian, owned by Ronald Breckler with Jeff Fout. Eight, Legalistic, races for owner John Howard, driven by Brett Miller. And the nine, Hosanna's Charm, is owned by Daryl Sams with Dan Noble. Five minutes, post time. There they go. And they're off. Legalistic fires out from the far outside. Sybil's in the early mix. Sambian's parked out third. Runaway Lawyer comes away in fourth by two. Sharp and Ed mid-pack in fifth by two and a half. Kissy Face is next. Then it's Kimbo Crombie followed by Eternal Freedom. And Hosanna's Charm trails the field that is covered by some 20 lengths and being led by Legalistic. She crosses over and takes control. Sybil is pocketed second, followed by Sambian. And Runaway Lawyer is surging up early, opening quarter, 27 and four-fifths. And Runaway Lawyer sweeps on, up on the outside to challenge Legalistic and take over the lead as they pass under the wire. Sybil looks at it from third, gapped in fourth is Sambian. Sharpen at his fifth, some seven lengths off the pace inside of Kissy Face. And then we get Kimbo Crombie up on the outside as they make their way around the clubhouse. Turn is Hosanna's chairman. Eternal Freedom is shuffled back to last. It's Runaway Lawyer, your six to five favorite. She shows the way to the half in 58 seconds flat. 
its runaway lawyer. She has the racetrack by just over one. Legalistic follows through from the inside second. Sybil is racing in third. Kissy Face on a steady gain from the outside fourth. Sambian back to fifth. Kimbo Crombie is five lengths off the pace, gap in cover in sixth position. Then it's the pair of Eternal Freedom outside of Sharpenet and the distant trailer after running into some trouble, Hosanna's Charm. They head by three quarters. Runaway Lawyer leads the way. Kissy Face outside of Legalistic, second and third and 128 flat. Midway around the far turn, it's Runaway Lawyer holding her competitors at bay. She leads it by just over one. Legalistic is second. Kissy Face begins to lose ground on the outside. Sybil is way down the rail, but they have Runaway Lawyer to catch in the final 16th. Runaway Lawyer opens it up to two. Sybil shakes free, followed by Kissy Face and Legalistic in between horses. Runaway Lawyer shortening up. Outside, Kissy Face inside. With Sybil, it was tight at the wire between those two. Looked like Runaway Lawyer was third, 158 and three. Heading back to the winner's circle, Kissy Face giving Bre Kyle Ader his third victory on the night. This time with the upset winner who pays 59.20. Two victories on the season for Kissy Face, 158-3, career best mile, owned by Robinson Brooks, Mundillo, and Letke of Ohio and Texas, trained by Del Criswell. Kissy Face is a three-year-old Dragons Lair filly. She's out of gums by Raven Hanover. Fuller, Tony Fuller's up. Two Jates on time, one by Frank Castle with Rick Heitman. Three, Pure Hell, you know, by Hushang Momin, Poor and Joseph Chamier, Randy Tharps. Johnny Be Gone from Post War, for Vernie Byers Jr., Jeff Fout. Five, Movin' Boovin is owned by Donald Lane, Kane Kaufman. Six, Record Season, owned by Laverne Gales II, Dan Noble. Seven is Chip Sabra, owned by David Luff with Kyle Ader. Eight Beaumont, owned by Robert Grubaugh Jr., Brett Miller drives. Nine Clearwater Chip, Joseph Smits is the owner, Sean Barker drives. Ten is Cam's Jewel, owned by Tom Gray and driven by Dell S. Miller. Post time in five minutes, just five minutes, don't get Line shut up out. for the eighth race, and there they go. They're off. Record season is quickest away from the starting gate. Johnny Begone from the inside drives out second. Moving Boovin comes away in third gap of two. Clearwater Chip crosses over from the outside to land a seat in fourth. Racing in fifth position is Pure Hellion, followed by Maximum Revenge. And then we get Cam's Jewel. Then it's Jates on time, followed by Chip Sabra. Beaumont is the, the tail of the field. Looks to be a fast pace early as record season takes him by the quarter in 27 and 4. Passing the stands for the first time, it's record season on the engine by a length and a half. Johnny Begun drafts in from second. With the pylon ride from third, it's moving, moving, followed by Clearwater Chip in the fourth spot. Pure Hellion is starting up on the outside from fifth position. Maximum Revenge comes to the outside in sixth and looks to force the 10 Cam's Jewel out three wide. Two and a half back to Chip Sabra going off stride uh, from the outside. Uh, that was Jates on time. And then we get Beaumont. They reach the half in 58 and 3 fifths. Out of the turn and down the backstretch, it's record season who maintains a length and a half advantage. Pure Hellion has improved into second position. Johnny Begon is a ground saving third. Moving Boovin with clearance to move out and forth. He'll look to edge to the outside. 
Then it's two and a half back to a stalled Maximum Revenge. He's racing outside of Clearwater Chip, who's going to have to do better. And then it's Cam's Jewel, Chip, Sabra, and Beaumont as they head by three quarters. It's record season. Record seasons all alone, 127 and 1. Midway around the far turn, record season trying to go coast to coast. Johnny Be Gone from the inside second. Pure Hellion trying to catch a second win. Moving Boobin tries to crank it up three wide. He's full out. And then we get maximum revenge as they come down the stretch. It's record season put to urging. Pure Hellion closing in the center of the track along with Moving Boobin. Johnny Be Gone down the inside. Record season desperate outside Pure Hellion, but record season prevails. Pure Hellion was second and then it was moving moving 157 and one wire to wire for record season back to winning ways fifth win on the season 157 and one it's a seven-year-old dragon's lair from seasons passed by brad hanover owned by the trainer laverne gales the second of spencerville and driven a victory by dan noble 6-3 exact to 63-60, try 6 3 5 3 0 one Exact as tries and supers, number one is Well Ain't That Nice, owned by James Wilson and William Murphy, David Myers. Two Parkersburg is owned by Frank Castle and driven by Randy Tharps. Three Treasure Crest, John Perrin owns, Brad Miller drives. Four is Hunter's Mac, owned by John Shadek with Jeff Collins. Five Indian Winner is owned by Steve Kaufman, Kane Kaufman is up. Six Caleb Special for Pearl Paver, the owner, Kyle Ader drives. Seven Cam's Ace is owned by Horner Racing Stables, Jeff Foud. Eight RWs out of towner. Vincent Gomez owns. Rick Heitman trains and drives. And the nine is Cassie's Little Joe, owned by Tom Tharps with Trent Tharps Jr. Lined up for the ninth, and there they go. They're off. RW is out of towner from the outside. Left well, takes the lead as they enter the turn. Parkersburg comes away in second. Indian winner will settle away in the three hole, length and a half farther back. To well, ain't that nice just in front of Treasure Crest. Parked out in sixth position as they move midway around the turn is Cassie's Little Joe, then it's Cam's Ace, Caleb Special, and two and a half back to Hunter's Mac as they wheel by the quarter in 28 and one fifth seconds. And on top of the field, it's RW's out of towner, but here comes Parkersburg. He's not content to sit the two hole trip, and Parkersburg and RW's out of towner are in a speed duel as they approach the clubhouse turn. They are seven lengths clear of the rest who will be closing in very quickly. Indian winner is third. Well Ain't That Nice is racing in fourth. Cassie's Little Joe is getting a rough trip. Park three wide. Treasure Crest is buried in with nowhere to go. Bottled up is Cam's Ace, followed then by Caleb Special and Hunter's Mac. 57 and one for the half as they race down the backstretch. And it's RW's out of towner forcing Parkersburg to take a seed. Well Ain't That Nice is surging up on the outside third. Indian winner is locked in at the pylons in fourth. And now in an interesting move, Parkersburg comes out into Well Ain't That Nice. Now coming into contention is Cam's Ace, followed by Treasure Crest with nowhere to go. Then it's Caleb's Special, followed by Hunter's Mac, and dropping back to last, Cassie's Little Joe. RW is out of towner, 128 flat. Moving around the far turn, it's RW is out of towner by two. Indian winner was able to progress at the inside and snuck up to grab second position, followed by a fading Parkersburg. Treasure Crest finally shakes free. And uh, as they come down the stretch, it's RW is out of towner full out. Indian winner is closing in on the outside, followed by Treasure Crest down the inside. RW is out of towner outside Indian winner. RW is out of towner wins it. Indian winner to go second. Then it was Treasure Crest and Caleb Special in 159. I smell an uncovered super. 8-5 all all. 1,017-80. in the DD. 726-80. Two of three in the pick three. A $1 ticket will get you 699 even. 
Back in the winner's circle, it's RW's out-of-towner for Vincent Gomez, the owner, Rick Heitman, the trainer-driver. RW's out-of-towner is a seven-year-old out-of-towner from Powerfuls by McKenzie Almahurst, scoring his first victory of the season, 159 flat.